most humbled to be standing here to pay tribute, to pay homage to Dr. Maya Angelou. Dr. Maya Angelou was the Science of Mind magazine spiritual hero of the year and was featured on the January 2014 issue of our magazine. She was an award-winning poet, civil rights activist, and she died at her home in Winston-Salem, North Carolina this week. My heart was heavy as I recall fighting tooth and nail in 1972-1973 as a freshman at Withrow High School having to read a book called, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. <laughs> I have not been in touch with my teacher, Barbara Kithcart, who required that reading. I thought it appropriate last evening to look her up on Facebook and thank her for the transformative things that happened to me in my life after reading that book. She was born Marguerite Johnson, and I tried, as we always do in the Johnson family, to find if she, if she can, if she related to us. She was born April 4th, 1928, in St. Louis, Missouri, and was raised in Stamps, Arkansas. Dr. Angelo experienced the brutality of racial discrimination, but she also absorbed the unshakable faith and values of traditional African-American family, community, and culture. On her birthday, April 4th, 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. It was not a happy birthday for Dr. Angelo. It was not a celebration for millions of us. I was a 10-year-old little Negro girl, downtown Cincinnati on Fifth Street, <coughs> shopping with my parents for Easter. I had no idea why my mother cried, why she fell to the ground in her six-foot, cinnamon-colored stature, and my father had to beg and plead with a yellow cab driver to take us home to Avondale. He did. On the way home, we realized that the Avondale we knew was on fire. It has never recovered. Dr. Angelo continued her fight for civil rights, standing, loving, accepting, not tolerating, accepting, and that's a wonderful feeling. Little did I know that as an executive for Key Bank, a little over 10 years ago, I would share, and I use that word loosely, an elevator with Dr. Maya Angelou at the Cincinnati Convention Center. In my JJ way, I know how to talk. <laughs> However, I lost my way in the elevator that day. <laughs> I looked at this tall, beautiful, graceful woman in her African garb with her cane, and I'm thinking, I got one too. <laughs> and I said, do you know who you are? <laughs> centers to stage and screen. This woman, Dr. Angelo, with the melodious voice, was an incomparable wordsmith. On USA Today and several other sites this week, they had her top 30 quotes. 
And one that stuck with me was, when you know better, you do better. When you know better, you do better. I pay homage to her today with one of her famous poems as our invitation. <coughs> Still, I rise. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twitted, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Cause I walk like I've got oil bags <coughs> pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns, with the certainty of tides, just like hopes springing high, still I rise. Do you want to see me broken? Bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries. Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard? Cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. <laughs> you may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? <laughs> <laughs> Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted with pain, I rise. I am a black ocean, leaping and wide welling and swelling and bare in the tide, leaving behind nights of terror and fear. I rise into daybreak, that's wondrously clear. I rise, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the dream and the hope of a slave. I rise, I rise, I rise. And so it is. And so it is.